my dossier is ever here and um, I've moved house again. I know that I literally just moved house in like, I don't know, two episodes ago on Sims, on Phil. But uh, I've moved house again and uh, today we have a business to start. And um, you see my uh, my lovely house here, it's looking fabulous. Uh, it's got everything that you could ever dream of. I mean, it's even got Christmas decorations on it. It's just, yeah, it's it's lovely. It's a, it's a two story. It's got four bathrooms. One, two, three, four, five, six bedrooms, I think. Uh, we got Phil down here. Uh, talk. Oh, I was talking to Mackenzie, I think. Are you talking to Mackenzie? I don't know. And I don't know. Alberto is is hungry or something, but um, yeah, this is this is the new house. I mean, it's got a lovely view of some woodland here, and um, it's it's got a nice view of of the ocean as you can see over here, and it's got a really nice backyard as well. Um, it's it's really 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 nice. Yeah, this is this is the backyard. Um, it's it's looking fabulous. Uh, this, <laughs> as you can see, this is where our business is going to be. We got the three prisoners in the back. We've got uh, Summer, Lemon, and Caleb. I mean, Caleb is going to be probably our forever uh, prisoner, considering he is a vampire. Uh, so he will never die. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start our business, and we're gonna. We're just, we're just gonna buy a load of cows. So we're literally just gonna... What's that noise? Uh, we, yeah, we're just gonna buy a load of cows. Milk them pretty much every day. And then sell the milk. Uh, I watched Kevin, you guys know that I'm a huge Kevin... Call me Kevin fan. He did chickens. Now I don't want to break my computer. So... <laughs> We're doing cows. When I was watching his video, actually he did two videos. Uh, he he did a lot of chickens, and I really, really do not want to break my computer. I hope that uh, all the cows are there. Yeah, this is this is the house. <laughs> See the throne room. I don't know why I did a throne room. I just felt like it was necessary. So we have a throne room. Uh, we got the kitchen, dining room, we got the uh, the butler, which I need to actually assign the bed to. She seems to be bold now. I don't know why. Here she is. I don't know. I don't. I, I really don't know why she's bold, but uh, she's bold. Uh, we got like a little living room here. We got a study. Downstairs bathroom. We got another toilet over here. We got another like sitting area here. And upstairs we've got uh, Mackenzie's room. Slash Phil's room. I mean, Phil doesn't really need it anymore considering he's a vampire, but uh, it had to be perfect pink because you know it's Phil's favorite color. And then we've got his uh, closet, his, his bathroom, another sitting area. We've got Earth K. No, this is. I haven't actually assigned beds yet. This is Dwarf's. You're in the wrong room, Dwarf. This is Earth Cakes. And then in this room is uh, Alberto's. You can see the contrast between Earthcake and Dwarf's and Alberto's room. Um, Dwarf and Earthcake's rooms are <laughs> very plain. And then there's Earth, uh, Alberto who's got like a more extravagant bedroom even though he's still a baby. <laughs> so why are you here? Oh wait, I can... Uh, I, uh, I'm going to drink your plasma. We got the cows. Are the cows like the cows are here? I mean, it's a bit laggy already. It's gonna be fine. We've we've got uh, the Caleb, Summer, and Clement looking after them. I mean, it's it's a bit it's a bit snowy for them at the moment, but um, it should be fine. It'll be fine, I think. Can someone please look after the baby? Let's just move him. It's really laggy. <laughs> It's, it's, you know, it's grey, it's fine. Yeah, this is, this is the new house. We got, this is, this is a, um, extra bedroom. 
Does Earthcake dislike video games? No. Who dislikes video games? Well, why are you going to that bar when you've got a nicer one here? You're a strange man. You really, really are. Summer, where did you get a violin from? Sounds great. I like how it's Winterfest as well. We've got Santa locked away. You know, Winterfest is always a good time to start a business. I don't know what you guys think. Like, it's, it's a really good time to start a business. I like how he's in his bear costume. Oh. You, uh, okay, you're gonna go and watch the, the racket that's outside. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, we can get some milk from, from our cows. Well, you're gonna take a while if you're gonna walk like that. Yeah, that's that's a little bit painful. That is, Summer. Can you? No, Summer. Right, I. Uh, we need to get a uh, a Christmas tree. I think we need a pink one. Ooh, we could go for a a, a rainbow one. But it's always got to be, I mean, it's kind of purple, but, you know, it's going to be fine. I don't have any plans for, uh, for Winterfest. I mean, before I went on a... Did I steal all the, all the presents and stuff? I can't remember. Oh, Phil's just over here having a chat. Would you like the, the little bunker that I've got? I got the open windows just because it's really cold. Like, it's winter. And I was just like, hey, you know what's even more tor torturous for our prisoners? Open windows. I mean, I don't know what I'll do about Mackenzie. She was kind of like a spur of the moment relationship. Uh, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do about her. Cook grand meal. You can have a, f a fish dinner on Christmas. I do like how Phil is just over here having a chat with his prisoners. Like, hey, just because you're just because you're locked away and you can't get out and you're you're looking after our cows. I'm still going to be nice to you and have a conversation. Oh, now he's just singing. He's just having a blast, isn't he? I mean, him and Caleb are both vampires, so they'll probably get along pretty well. So, they... Oh, um, Phil. <laughs> Why did you just pull out a voodoo doll, drop it on the ground, and then just stare at it? You've got a lot of random stuff in your inventory, Phil. Oh, this is all the stuff we stole from the university. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, that would explain it. Summer, why are you angry? Flirty lover. Hey. <laughs> Caleb's been flirting with Phil. Aw, Caleb! You enamored by Phil or by... Summer? Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so he's deeply in love with us. Furious about cheating? Did, did Caleb just blatantly start flirting with Phil in front of Summer? Oof! Caleb! I didn't take you for the naughty type. Oh, Santa's here. Oh, we- What? How do we dislike Santa this much? How do we... Phil, what did you do? You really dislike Santa. Two Santas that you dislike? What happened? <laughs> we just got loads of friendships with cows. <laughs> Phil, stop dropping voodoo dolls everywhere. Cuddle him. He is your beloved son, Phil. Earthcake, why are you in that bed? This is your bed. Strange child. Is it daytime yet? I want to milk the cows. Right, we're just waiting for for daytime now. Oh, they're out. We milk them yet? Why are you dirty already? Are they all dirty? How are you all dirty? What have you been doing? <laughs> Why are all the the black and white ones dirty? <laughs> what are you doing? Clean shed. Okay. Well, at least Caleb was looking after our cows. Right, clean clean the cows. It's just gonna be us cleaning cows. Well, Caleb is expendable. Clean the cows, <laughs> Oh my god, why are they all dirty? You didn't clean any of the cows! Work starts for Caleb in an- what, what he works at? He's a detective. Level 4, why he's not going to work? Caleb has a new job as cow caretaker. 
I can't we've only got like one cow that is fine. And all of the others are just dirty. Stand alone. No. Cal Caleb has a new job. Much more important job. Alright, let's let's start milking these cows. Caleb, you can quit your job. Yes. You have a much more important job here. This could take all of our willpower, I'm not gonna lie. This could be Oh, Phil's coming again. I might have to become you sometime. Don't you think we could I'm sorry, what? What? I might have to become you sometime. Don't you think we could pass as twins? No. Oh, we've got milk. Milk's a cow. Keep milking cows, Caleb. Oh wow, you've got quite a mess in your hands here, don't you? You dirty little hoarder. Want some help cleaning up all that trash? Excuse me! I've just moved in! Oh. Phil's <laughs> just riding on his bike! His house is so big that he's just got to ride his bike around. Caleb, you... You've got things to do! Stop! Trying to learn the violin. Oh, Caleb, he's only just joined our family. And we are already putting into work. Okay, so I've got a plan. We're gonna start a club. And it's it's gonna be called um, Caleb's Cows. Uh, we're gonna... We're, we're not gonna invite Phil. But we're gonna... Why do you dislike her? We're, get, we're gonna... Wait, where's, where's Summer and where's... There's, there's Summer. Where, where's Santa? Does he not know Santa? He does know Santa. Why are you not letting me invite him? Right. It could be a joint thing. Summer and Caleb. They're, they're, they were made for each other. Right, so I don't really need any requirements. Marital status. That doesn't really matter. Financial status. Uh, skill. Um, since when has woohoo been a skill? Right, we're gonna we're gonna add this. Care for animals. And um, you can also swim. <laughs> Caleb's cows. Oh wait. Uh, what's a good one for for cows? A bear. That's fine. I th do we need to get a swimming pool in here now? Just. Let's, let's get a little one. There we go. You can you you can swim now. Okay. Oh, Caleb's out. I mean, Caleb's doing a pretty good job. Uh, he's he is actually looking after the animals. Oh, it's Alberta's birth. Oh, Alberta's grown up. Yeah, this is uh pretty good. Pretty good start. We've. I mean, it's quite a lot of hard work to look after twelve cows, but uh, we. A good start. I but yeah. I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, okay, that was off again. I'm uh, gonna leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please stop tea posing. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. I can't tell what's wrong or right Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to